Welcome to The Journey Home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. The following is an oracle reading of cards that I have chosen for you that I will read fully from and without advertisement. So please subscribe, hit that like and share. Enjoy your reading. This card chosen for you is from the Fairies Oracle by Brian Froud. Card number one, Unity. Union, mystical experience, spiritual home. Unity comes first and last. In between, we have the illusion of duality, which we all believe in for a very long time. This apparent duality is ultimately shown to be an illusion, but it is an illusion through which we must pass, through which we learn and grow, and then once again return to unity. You may have had mystical experiences where you have had true union with other beings or even with the unity, the one who is all. Such experiences change our lives, effectively showing us that this, what the saying is, we are all one, is not just a pious belief, but is a statement of actual fact. We are not separate like the flowers in a field, but are one. The only way to reach this awareness is to surrender the small everyday self to the larger spiritual self, which is unity. Experiencing full oneness with the unity is transformative. Looking at this painting, one observer notes, all the power is focused in here, vast energies. It is as if all that power is looking for a place to happen. This is exactly what is going on. Unity is the energy of the cosmos, still ma unmanifest, still without form. Here we see the dark and the light, masculine and feminine, active and passive, and other polarities, all expressed in balanced, energy-filled, vibrant union. All that is one, all that is, is one. And that one is God goddess is the principle expressed from this all else derives this is the source from which we draw our strength our very being as a message when this card comes up it is asking us to remember the mystical concept that we are all one unified in a holistic universe it reminds us to look at the needs and goals we have in common with others and to seek cooperation and community action rather than attempting to do everything on our own. To achieve our goals, we need, to, we need the active cooperation of others. And to get that cooperation, we must be helpful to them and willing to work with their ideas as well as our own. It suggests that we think of things in terms of equal partnerships rather than in lines of hierarchical authority. Unity also tells us that we have much to gain by remembering our own wholeness. Resolution of inner conflict is often necessary before we move ahead. It is important at this time that we work towards cooperation and reconciliation within and without, seek the highest good of all involved, and not merely your idea of highest good, ask for the divine energy of unity to permeate and guide you. As a warning, we may have become overly focused on the differences and disagreements that seem to separate us from others, and this may be preventing us from achieving our potential for, ful for fulfillment and happiness. We may feel alienated, unwanted and lonely. If this is so, we need to refocus on what we have in common with those around us, far and near. We may need to heal our own attitudes and our beliefs that contribute to these feelings of separation. And we could usefully consider how we might find reconciliation with others. Forgiveness may be a key. Prejudice and judgmental and critical attitudes all push us farther into the delusion of separateness and loneliness. Move toward allowing others to be closer to you gradually dropping the defensive attitudes that hold them away and keep you alone. Don't wait for others to make the first move toward reconciliation and connection, but reach out to them with compassion and selflessness. 
This may be difficult, even very difficult at first, requiring self-study and inner work, possibly with the help of skilled teachers or therapists. In meditation and prayer, ask to be in communion with the unity deep within yourself. In unity, there is trust, love, and ecstasy. Before I read the second card for you, I'd just a reminder to please hit the like and help me beat those algorithms for every like that you give me is potentially a thousand suggestions and recommendations on YouTube. Thank you and God bless. Enjoy the rest of the reading. This card chosen for you is from the Fairy Forest, an oracle of the wild green world by Lucy Cavendish. Number 10. Astrid. Love fire, sensuality, fertility. When we love, we can gaze directly into the soul of another human being for a while. This in love sensation reminds us of who we can truly be when we connect with our own true self love. We feel complete, adored, and we open wide to the experience. Energy surges through us. We crave the touch of the beloved. We are, for a time, quite mad. When this card comes to you, the love fire has been lit within you, and you are being asked to allow your own self-love to ignite in return. You are feeling sensual, ready to make love, to explore the boundaries of physical sensation, and you wish reality would simply leave you be for a time so you can fully explore this craving and desire. About you is the sensation of fulfillment, of satisfaction, and for a time you will live between the worlds while this powerful experience shakes you to the core. And all the while this very being gazes into your heart willing you to remember that not only do you love, you are worth loving. Astrold's cool green gaze observes the fire within you and will remind you again and again that to love yourself and to love another with all of your heart is a kind of baptism, a blessing, a ritual, and a trial by fire. Passion is your whole world. Let the fire embrace you purify you and keep walking through the flames of love artwork autumn harmony if you're still here thanks for listening to this oracle reading and please join us wednesdays and sunday nights alive if you would like some free cards pulled for you i would love to pull them for you check the website out too there are all kinds of perks for members over there God bless and talk to you again soon. Bye-bye for now.